how do you kind of bounce back from this and how important is leadership right now after losing the first two games? Uh, leadership is important right now. Uh, just getting the team going, uh, not letting uh, one turn into two, of course. Uh, of course, um, as far as the defense goes, it just all goes back to practice. Uh, on Monday, we have to be locked in. Um, we have to be, uh, you know, focused on attention to detail and things like that. We have to uh, strain in practice and really just translate practice to the game. And uh, it all starts with what you put in during the week. John Clay? Josh, do you feel like it's Ole Miss's tempo that gave you the most trouble, or was there a particular part of Ole Miss's offense that gave you guys the most trouble? Um, I wouldn't say it was the tempo. I think, um, of course, I, I haven't seen the film yet, but I feel like we handled the tempo well as far as the conditioning side of that. But um, I just feel like the coaches put us in good spots. We just have to execute as a defense. And that's something we're going to stress this week. We just have to execute the play calls that the coaches give us. The coaches put us in good positions. So we just have to uh, hold ourselves accountable and uh, make some plays. Anybody else with a question? Dr. Wong? Uh, Josh, you guys go up by two touchdowns there uh, in the second half. What was the mindset of the team, and uh, what was the defense thinking at that particular point? Um, as a defense, as a team, we're just really thinking, like, keep our foot on the neck and uh, not let up. Um, of course, that's not how things turned out. Um, they ended up executing uh, on the offensive side as far as Ole Miss goes. And, um, you know, we just really need to start – um, making an emphasis on uh, finishing in the second half and really put an emphasis uh, as far as defense uh, defense goes to just uh, be that dominant force and uh, take over that second half. John Hale. Josh, I understand you all had the, the big stop at the end of regulation, but what's the mood in overtime right after the, the missed point after attempt, knowing you all you know, can't really give up a touchdown there? Um, the mood was just to, uh, you know, not let everything be on Ruffalo. You know, Ruffalo, he missed extra point, but it's a team sport. Uh, you know, he missed extra point, but it's a defense that backs him up. And um, unfortunately, we didn't uh, – the game at the end didn't go our way, and we didn't execute like we should have. But uh, we can't blame it all on Ruffalo because at the end of the day, if you do that, it's a, th it's a hundred different plays that you could blame um, somebody on. And so, um, as far as that goes, our mindset was to just back Ruffalo up. You know, Ruffalo missed that extra point, and we're just saying we're gonna go out there, we're gonna get, we're gonna stop him, and uh, we're gonna support our brother. So, John Clay, Josh, it's the second straight game where you guys uh, failed to force a turnover. What do you feel like needs to happen for you guys to, you know, get a fumble or make an interception and uh, make a big play when you need it? Uh, we just have to. Uh, execute like we said. Um, I have an emphasis on turnovers. Um, you know, um, it's hard to um, you know go a couple of games without a turnover. That you know that's a big momentum swing uh, when the defenses uh, can help their offenses out. And you know our offense played great today. Um, I saw they rushed for 400 yards, and that's something that um, you know as a defense we have to match their intensity. You know, they're playing well, they're playing great. But in, at the end of the day, we let up more points than they put up. So we have to look ourselves in the mirror and hold ourselves accountable, learn from this, and bounce back on Monday. Okay, last question is Tim Sullivan. Tim, you have a question? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can now. All right, let me try again. Uh, you're off to another two start in a season where you're only playing SEC schools. You've got three ranked opponents in a row now. How do you keep this from snowballing? Um, you know, once we got the SEC schedule um, and that um, announcement a couple of months ago, we knew it was going to be hard. Uh, Luke Fortner said this in the locker room. He said we knew it was going to be hard, and um, we just had to bounce back, you know. It's going to be momentum swings throughout the season. You're going to face adversity, and we're facing it right now. And so you're really, um, 
judged on how good of a team you are after you face adversity. And you know, we're going through adversity right now, so it matters on how we bounce back, how we um, are prepared for this week against Mississippi State, and really just how we uh, go out and finish the season. All right, thank you guys. I'll be back with Terry Wilson.